Meg here from I Teach Stamping and welcome to today's video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a trick using your border scoring plate to do embossing and debossing at the same time. So what we're going to do is start with a piece of real red cardstock and I'm going to line it up onto my border scoring plate and I've got repositionable adhesive on this cardstock. Then you're going to want your top piece and make sure that it's facing the right way. So just line it up and make sure that everything is good and lined up. And then all you have to do is go through and trace everything. Okay, finish that one out. Okay, now we're going to take this off. We're going to take this. Lift it up, and then I'm going to drop it back down in place. So I'm lining it back up. Still got repositionable adhesive. And now I'm going to go through and do the circle dots. And actually, I'm going to use the broad tip for this rather than the fine tip. And then on the same piece of cardstock, you've got it embossed and debossed. Okay, so the only other thing we need to do is move these trays out of the way and bring in the base for our card, which is going to be bashful blue five and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Okay, so now we're ready to do our stamping and assembling. So now we're ready to do our stamping, and I'm going to be using the Thanks, and this is from the Vintage Verses. And I've got a piece of Whisper White that's going to be one and three quarters by three and a half. I'm just lining this up. I'm using Real Red Ink and Stamp. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White that's going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to drop this cute little ladybug down into the corner and this ladybug is from the spring sampler stamp set okay we're done with our stamping so we're gonna move these the only other thing we need to do is tie our bow and I've done that I did a double loop bow using the 10 second bow maker when you buy the bow maker it gives you a link so that you get videos on how to do all the extra cool bows like this cute little double loop one Okay, scoot that out of the way and let's do some assembling. So I've got a piece of bashful blue that's going to be one and seven eighths by three and five eighths. I'm going to drop our thanks right on top of that and that's going to layer onto our cute little real red layer. Like so. And make sure you've got all your repositionable adhesive where it's not showing. All right, then let's bring in the front, the card base. So our little ladybug is going to drop into the middle inside of our card just to add a cute little element there and I'm going to add a piece of crumb cake that's going to be four inches by five and a quarter inches and I ran it through the perfect polka dots embossing folder on the big shot I want my dimensionals for this layer here and peel these off the little backings for them And just drop this into the middle of our card a mini glue dot for our bow and this card is done so I hope you enjoyed learning how to do that fun little trick with the border scoring plate where you did the embossing and the debossing all with one tool if you like that tip be sure to like this video below and also be sure to share this video with your friends Head on over to iteachstamping.com and sign up for my newsletter where you will get even more tips and tricks for your card making and scrapbooking. Once again, I'm Meg from I Teach Stamping and have a great day.